How's everybody doing? This is Triplet Dad 007 coming to you from the Magic Carpet Ride. And we have Walrus and Haunted with us tonight. And we're going to be going over uh, a, a spreadsheet or an idea that you may have uh, heard about lately. Um, it, it, we're going to go at it in detail. It's going to involve uh, some pancake swap or some pancake swap fork plays as well as a, a liquid loan play that I think you guys might be curious to know, uh, get some information about. Um, go ahead, introduce yourself, Haunted. Haunted, what more could you want? Yeah. I'm here to haunt your life with uh, tactics and um, some maths. And that's about it. Uh, I love liquid loans. I love uh, Pulse. And I just want to, I just can't wait until it starts. Walrus, Walrus, you're up, bud. What's up, guys? Y'all know I love the community. Um, yeah, I'm Walrus. You guys have seen me around a bunch in the Pulse Chain main, a little bit in the dev chat. Uh, obviously, very interested in how the, the whole ecosystem will play out, both with liquid loans and uh, some of the really unique things that it has to offer. Um, you know, Pulse Swap bringing in some really neat things, giving us a, a neat look into liquidity, especially for, for our community, especially. Uh, so it's an interesting talk, man. We're, uh, we got a bit of a lull here while we're waiting on version two. So excited to talk a little game theory, some, some crazy math from, from some of our boys over here. So should be a fun little, fun little discussion, man. What, what, what are you smoking? Oh, this is a little Pargus. Oh, nice, nice. I am smoking a Toronto. Nice. Carlos Toronto. Nice little uh, Carlos Toronto Robusto box pressed. Not a bad little smoke for an evening. All I got right. a little uh, salute to my people here, a little Dalmore 18, a little single malt. Nice. Part of my people on the island. I have some iced tea and uh, uh, Haunted's beverage list, I think. Um, I've got nothing. I'm just drinking milk. <laughs> I'm drinking milk. <laughs> All right. So, um, Haunted, do you want to talk about this first? Or you want to just pull up the sheet? It's up to you, buddy. It's your sheet. I'll go for the Go for the um, the pulse swap first, so that way you can, if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to bring the pulse swap thing up in the um, when we bring up your flow chart. So we uh, should probably, yeah. So we should probably bring up. Let's just bring up the sheet first. Yeah, sure. All right. Let me share that. Share. All right, we all good? You guys can see it? Yep. Yeah, I see a bunch of crazy math. All right, it is crazy <laughs> math. All right, so so I'm going to let Haunted go over this. You guys, this is Haunted's uh, math. Um, it's an idea he came up with, and then he's fine-tuned this spreadsheet. And uh, if you pay attention uh, and don't let all these uh, commas and zeros uh, scare you, uh, this is really, really interesting. So take it away, Haunted. Well, um, first I come up with the idea when I heard of, overheard one of the videos, Richard Hart saying, um, you could have sold on a double, sold on a double, sold on a double. And I'm like, well, you, what if we took a loan on a double, a loan on a double, and a loan on a double? What difference does it make? Um, we did that spreadsheet. And then I'm thinking to myself, well, what if we took a, a loan and bought more Pulse um, at a safe collateralized rate of, at a thousand percent? So using 10% of your loan, 10% of your collateral as a loan, and just bought more Pulse. And what difference does it make? And I, I ran the numbers and they just blew my mind. Um, and I thought it was crazy. And I just went from there and then just kept on growing and growing and looked at the fees that goes to the loan staking pool, looked at um, a uh, if a thousand people started doing this, what would it do to um, the price um, and things like that. I break it down to every 10%. So every 10% the price went up, we took a loan and bought some more Pulse and put into our vault and just kept on doing this over and over again as the price went high. Um, and the economic buy pressure in if a thousand, just a thousand people did it. I don't think it's a lot with a thousand, with a 21 K investment because with liquid loans, the minimum loan is 2000. So a 21 K investment um, starting off from there and just growing from there. And well, it also go, doesn't, let, let's go over that a little bit. That, let's, let's go over some of these boxes. So, what we're basing this on is a $21,000 loan with a, a pulse price that starts at zero, 
but then is somewhat equal to three zeros and a one seven zero. Okay. Yeah. And we're getting that number from the community and people who have uh, 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 done some, some math. So yeah. uh, th this number could be off, but for, for now, this is where we're at. And when this number changes, we could change this spreadsheet and make this number to reflect the actual. Lunch. Correct. All right. Correct. So go ahead, bud. Uh, so the first, the first one is just the, the X's X chart. Um, so how many X's is it that we do? Because it yeah. goes up by every 10%, you see that it just it slowly goes up and then gradually goes up even more over time. And then the price, 10% as well. Uh, so the this, first column, one is, this, this, this column is a 1x of this. This column 10%. is a 1x, 10%, uh, uh, 10%. 10, 10 of this. But yeah. it, just like Haunted said, as, as you go progress downwards, after here, it starts going up one x at a time yeah and then eventually two x and then five x and then a hundred x at and a time then, then we scroll all the way down here uh just to let you know this is where we're going to stop this is a ten thousand x and we don't think that's impossible this is what hex did right so this is our red line we're not going to talk about anything under this um because it uh that that's literally not just life changing money. That's world changing money right there. So back to the top, let's go uh, next, next column. So that's the units that we get for this. Uh, yes. Right. Yes. So 20, so 21,000 gets us to that with the number of units, right? Yeah. So what the first two, the, the next two columns is someone that didn't use the loan protocol. So value without the loan protocol. So someone will have that many units, uh, you go to 10,000 X and he'll still have the same amount of units. His value has obviously changed um, to roughly 21 mil. Um, and if you go to the next one where the, you ha you've got um, value with loan, value without, um, without loan and the total. Um, so basically what he's saying is with a 21,000, dollars worth of pls at point zero 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 one seven was twenty one thousand dollars worth we're taking out a twenty one hundred dollar loan so we're, we're still very highly collateralized what's our percentage you guys thousand percent thousand percent so we have a, a whole mess of people on top of this that will be liquidated before we were right so we yeah. have twenty twenty one hundred dollar loan and we take that loan and we buy pulse with it and add it to our bag within liquid loans. Correct. Okay. So the value without the loans, the without the loan, that's uh, day one, right? Twenty one hundred or twenty one thousand dollars, twenty one thousand dollars. It's the same, but with the loan, we now have twenty three one worth of pulse in our bag yep all right go on from there bud all right so um as you can see with the loan you when you add a loan and the price goes up 10 percent, you're actually growing your bag a little bit more and that's the whole that's the whole purpose of this is trying to buy that pulse and gain and grow your bag um as much as you can to your bit to a safe collateralized rate and um gain gain the system as much as you can so adding buy pressure as well to pulse um it's, it's, it's what I, in my mind, what I believe, and this is what I want to do is just that the safe collateralized rate at a thousand percent. Um, if you, if you go a little bit further, you see that the, the units that we originally started with the loan that adds the units and then you've got the total units. So it's, I've even broken it, broken it down that much. So it just shows how much units you're buying at a time, um, with your loan. So with that loan, I'm actually adding, um, uh, 12 mil on top of my current loan. So I'm buying 12 million units and then you've got the total units of the end. So this is our original bag. And with the $2,100 loan, now we have this many. Uh, we added that, this many. Yeah. Now we have this many. Correct? Yes, correct. Correct. And then I went on further saying if a thousand people started doing this, their, um, the, buy, the buy pressure, the fees, and the total fees. So it's just one the reason why I did that is just to show um, how much buy pressure we're going to have if a thousand people did this? The fees that's going into the loan staking pool, which 
was my main objective as well. One of my main objectives, I wanted to know how good the loan protocol would be over time. Um, and if a thousand people just did this, how much is going to the loan staking pool? Gotcha. Yeah. Which made me more bullish after I did this and ran the math, the, the numbers, just a thousand people doing this, or really it's, it's 21 million in, in um, total value doing this. Right. So you could have 500 people doing it. Um, and some people just doing it with a lot more, some people doing it with less. Um, but that's the rough, the rough mark if only a thousand people were doing this and how much the loan staking pool will be gaining from right. this. It starts off low, but if, once we go to the higher numbers, we'll see the um, difference. All right. Where do you want me to go next, bud? Um, just go to like a hundred X and show you the, the difference between someone who did nothing Let's, someone let, let, let's go to 10x first, and you kind of explain that. Yeah. Does that sound good? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll go what 10, you, 100. What do you think 1, of this so 10, far, uh, uh, Walrus? I, I think the beauty of this is that these are – this is conservative math, right? This, this, isn't, this isn't showing some hyper uh, leverage position. This, it, this isn't moon boy if we're 50x at launch or if we're at a dollar. This is – this is conservative numbers, conservative bags, hyper collateralized. This is a very, very safe way to just just add value to the bag and take uh, take you know sell pressure off of pulse. So that's what I think is the magic. Is this is these numbers get pretty crazy? We're we're being very conservative. Nice. Agreed. So yeah, I, I I wanted to go very conservative. I just wanted um, to be as safe as possible, um, and that's the main thing. Like that's what I don't want to lose my pulse. I don't want to lose my bag. I want to go a thousand percent collateral, and that's a ninety percent drop. With the buy pressure that you get from a thousand people doing this, you're pretty much selling anyone with weak hands, in my in my opinion. Um, as you see, you see the numbers keep growing. But just so, so we can see here, the guy that didn't do anything, his value is now um, two hundred and six thousand. Um, and if you look at the person that's taken the loan, um, his his if you go a little bit further, um, triplet. Okay. So this is, uh, we're, we're at a, 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 just highlighted this whole column. We're at a 10X yeah. here, right? So we've killed a zero. Um, this is still the, the uh, amount of units that we started with, okay? And now the value uh, without a loan. Yep. This is the loan we're taking at a 10X, right? Right there, $2,879. We're buying... More pulse with that, right? The value without the loan is uh, $288,000. The total with the loan, the value is $317,000. Yep. So you can see the difference already. Um, right. it, makes a, it makes a big difference. Yeah, we, started, just, out yeah. With a, we started out with a $21,000 bag. And at a 10x, we're already at three hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, verse two um, was it two eighty eight? Uh, can't remember the first one. Yeah, first someone that, yeah. that didn't do picking it. up yeah. a little over ten percent. Yeah, without a loan, yeah, you're making that, that's a difference there. All right, we we'll go to the next. Go to like the hundred x from there, if you want. Or you want to keep going further? Yeah, so I was just going to go here. Uh, total units, we, we've upped our units considerably there, right? Yeah, correct. With the loan. Correct. Yep. All right. And the buying pressure at that 10% is we're buying 2 million. Um, there's a 2 million buying pressure. So the impact hasn't started yet of what it will do to Pulse at this point. So if you, if you, if you go a little bit further along, you actually see these numbers growing um, at a good rate. Okay. Do you want to go straight to 100? Yeah, go to 100, then 1,000 after that, and then 10,000 after that. Okay. All right, let's do, uh, you want to do 97 or 107 X? One, 107 has 100 in it. All right, we killed another zero, as you guys can see, right? We've killed another zero. That's still our original bag uh, uh, of uh, pulse. But this is where things are going uh, uh, a little crazy. W w value without the loan is, is $2 million. So, so we've already done uh, incredibly well, um, but look at what we're doing now. 
the loans that were taken out are 40 G's and the value that we have with the loan is double, almost double. And that's at 100X. And that's only at 100X. Yeah. That's with the other loan. Go to the next one. So it's, it's your, your total value is 4.4 mil. $4.4 million. So it is a double. Yep. yep. Okay. And if you keep going further to the buy pressure, of if a thousand people started doing this, um, we got 40 million buying buy pressure on the market. Um, we got fees. You'll be paying on that, on that particular 10%, you're paying 200. And the loan token is collecting 200,000 at the time. That's crazy. Yeah. And that, that's some of the magic of some of these things, um, both in, in Pulse Swap and in Liquid Loans. Um, just to sort of bring this to people who maybe, um, let's say they disagree with us as far as this being a, a safe route to go, or they don't even like Haunted Strategy. Let's go to the, we'll go to the, we'll try to steel man the argument. Just assuming that the people who took this extremely sensitive uh, route, uh, or extremely conservative route, very safe, very, very collateralized, a group of people doing this, like look at how much, how positive this is for the ecosystem. Forty million dollars in buy pressure. Like, the, what's the entire, uh, you know, what's the entire hex liquidity pool right now? Sixteen. So, what yeah. would a four, what would forty million dollars worth of buy pressure do? Um, now, again, that's a little bit loose math, but when you just when you look at how positive um, this sort of behavior could be in the marketplace, like these are not small numbers, you know. Um, they would have 40 million would have a huge impact on pricing at this point. And we're, we're sub two cents. We're not, we're not talking about, you know, moonshot math, like $40 million in buy pressure guys. That is a huge amount. That's bonkers. Absolutely Just wait to get go to the 1000 X and you're going to start saying, so we're going to go straight to that. Let's go to 250. Go to 250. It all right, because because uh, there's a lot of people in this community that say 250 in the first 90 days. Yeah. So let's let's touch on that. 252. All right. This this is starting to get moon boy. Um, it's crazy, but but it's doable, guys. All right. So. We're still start uh, including our original bag, uh, our original bag, right? Value without the loan. We're we're already uh, doing better than most most people, right? Uh, a a five point two million dollar bag. That's the, the power loan, of not selling. The yeah, power of not selling is five mil. The power of using just ten percent, one thousand percent collateral. Um, you see, like the what you're just about to show, but we're just showing the power of not selling, right. and the power of using a 10% a, a loan, just one push up the price, make your bags bigger, um, the and loan, make the, the system healthy. The, the loan we're now taking is five times bigger than our original sacrifice. Let that sink in. The loan that we're taking on this is now five times bigger than our original sacrifice. Five times bigger than our sacrifice, but we're still at the same collateral level. Correct. 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 And our first loan was two thousand dollars, and now we're at um, what was the loan amount? Sorry, a hundred thousand. So that's fifty times. Yeah, we just hit six figures on the loan size. Yeah, it's the, the numbers are there, and now look at the yeah. buy pressure um, that the loan total. Protocol, with this... Now that's. A hundred mil Ooh. buy pressure, and then who people who actually sacrifice and get that loan token. Um, if you if you go to if, a, if it's only and when I when I say only a thousand people doing this, I like when people see these numbers, run the maths yourself, do it yourself, and um, work it out yourself. You're gonna find that the numbers are real. And the loan protocol is picking up half a million dollars. Con just for that ten percent. Just contact. for that ten percent. Yeah, contact either Haunted and I, and we'll send you this sheet. Um, we'll, we'll let, check our math, do whatever you want. Um, we're trying to get a bunch of people to, to participate in this because uh, this buy pressure is the real deal. 
it could truly make the 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 price of PLS go through the roof. A hundred thousand on that ten percent, right? Well, I mean, highlight the one that the column that you want. Highlight um, uh, ten columns. Just go up ten. Just highlight so we can add the, all those numbers and just give me the total numbers there. Um, for that, this, this one column here. No, all five or ten. Just the ten. Just hot. No, no, no. Just the ten rows. Um, just to add. Which ten rows, bud? Uh, up, go up from okay. the two fifty up. Um, yeah, like fifty to sixty. Yeah, so yeah, see, so, yeah, that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So from the forty down to the hundred, just just highlight it. From the forty down to the hundred. No, no, yeah. So all you gotta do is just click on the forty, hold the forty first, go up to the top, and just I don't, scroll down. I don't see forty, bud. Here. Forty, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Okay. Hold your finger down. Yeah, that's it. All right. So I think that's ten rows. Yeah, it is. So that's actually putting in half over half a million. Oh, sorry. Six hundred and seventy-two million. Yeah, half a billion dollars buying pressure right there in that in that um in that double. So every time that ten percent goes up, you we've got half a billion dollars going into pulse in buy pressure. So people what people have asked me, what if um what if someone sells? What if someone um dumps it their bags? But you've got half a billion dollars worth of buy pressure. So if someone does have weak hands and sells. There's enough buy pressure there to eat them up and push up the price. And then you're going to have new investors. You're going to have people who have pulse swap. That's going to, they, they, the, the stuff that they yield from that to buy more pulse. Um, there's a lot of things that, are, that people are still going to buy pulse because they believe in um, pulse is going to be the best asset to buy. So whatever they're farming in, they're just going to keep swapping it into pulse, swapping into pulse. Um, like one of my things is the, the, my loan token. Whatever fees I make from that, I'm going to buy... The, the, the fees that I collect from the loan token, I'm going to buy Pulse, put it as in my collateral, and then take that as a stable coin and put it in my stability pool. So I'm keeping the system healthy. We'll, we'll um, uh, go over some of those plays. Um, we'll go over some of those plays uh, when we pull, pull up the other sheet. Yep. All right. And again, like I said, I just... I just really want the community to see that this is this is using real DeFi, right? Like this is this is another protocol that that doesn't have admin keys, that doesn't require you know centralized authorities of any kind. This is this is using real DeFi inside of the ecosystem, being built on Pulse Chain. This isn't this isn't Celsius and admin keys. This isn't Bitmark getting hacked. This is none of that. This is this is built by the community process that runs in in the ecosystem that's already here. And you're talking about adding that kind of buy pressure that's multiples of price um you know if we're looking at that that 250 range the impact i, I mean at least probably 10 of those 10 of those uh, x's would have been just from the buy pressure alone of the people participating and using the strategy here at this point yeah i agree and also there's no interest so you take that loan you never have to pay that loan back it's it's there's no interest there involved it's only that fee um, that point five uh, percent to point five percent, but the health, the system most likely will be healthy at this uh, at this stage where you're only paying point five percent. If you actually look go further, the hundred x of fees, um, you see if you look there that the fees that are going in there, that's over, uh, that's a few mil in that in that um, bracket. Right um, here. Yeah, and the fact that it's no, the uh, last, the, the last row, the last one. Yeah. Yeah, the fact that it's zero interest as well means that it opens it up to you know, a third of the world when it comes to, you know, any of the Islamic uh, areas of the world who can't, can't use uh, interest because of usury and Reba and those things. So um, the zero interest mechanic uh, not only is just great for everybody in the Western world, but it, it, it opens up an entire area of the world that would be able to use the protocol if it did have interest as well. So it's, uh, that's it's an all around thing. Again, great point. Walrus. I didn't even think of that. You, um, you also have the, um, the tax as well from taking the loan. So, um, there's no tax on that in most places. I still haven't heard anywhere where taking the loan is taxed. Um, so that's also that advantage as well. Um, right. So you've got that there. All right. All right. So, Which checks do you so want to go to now? So we did 250. We might as well just go straight to the thousand, right? Yeah. Yeah. What if it okay. gets weird? What if it gets weird, guys? What does that look like? This is where it gets weird. Go to the thousand. 
we're at 17 cents. People are going to think um, these numbers are crazy, right? Um, but it's possible. And anyone that sells, there's enough buy pressure to, to, to eat them up. And people, that's it. This is how you become a whale. Um, we we're joking around with, um, I was joking around with Triplet that and say, how to, how to create God whales in the community. And this is one of them. And you'll see the numbers here and what I mean. This um, is a God well creator. That's it. <laughs> so the person who did nothing now is worth $22 million. Um, Which is a good price, day. Yeah, yeah it's a good day. A from, good a, day. From, a, from a 21K investment, who's complaining, right? Yeah. Your loan on that double is half a million dollars. Half a million, right? Before I go any further than this, people are going to be like, uh, how, do I, how do I extract the value? Now, if you believe that the system is healthy enough where you're never going to see a 90% dip, this is where you can start taking a 12% loan. I don't know how much it is exactly on collateral and keep that 2% for yourself. Buy Bitcoin, for, if you like. Buy um, uh, Pulse Swap, if you like. Buy Hex, if you like, and stake it. Now, that 10%, which that, that extra 10% loan, which, which is, would be two, is roughly about um, 120,000. That's 120,000 on that 10%. That you're buying hex and doing a, a a ladder, if you like, or just do a fifteen year stake, a, te- a ten year stake, or a five year stake, or a three year stake. So you always keep that ten percent for pulse, and then you take a two percent, three percent, one percent, and put it wherever you like. Take it out. Um, that's a hundred thousand. You know, some some countries you can buy a house with that. Um, that's a wage for a year, and that's only on that ten percent. That's a wage for a year. So. Um, it's crazy just by taking an extra 2% on top of your 10% loan. Who doesn't want that? Um, and that's on that, just that 10% there. The numbers are unbelievable, but you can extract value from this, pocket a good mo- amount of money from a 21K investment and keep going and still buy up anyone that sells, keep pushing up the bar, um, keep having buy pressure, having very strong liquidity pools with, st- uh, with a stable coin, which if Bitcoin drops, we're not going to care because most of the liquidity pools um, uh, in this uh, liquid loan stable coin the usdl because uh, every time we're buying we're putting it into a liquidity pool we're putting that stable coin into a liquidity pool and the majority i can't see anything outpacing how much buy pressure we have here we're creating a liquidity pool that has um uh, a stable coin and that's the reason why when bitcoin drops you know 10 percent, 20 percent hex just drops a little bit because it's only connected to ethereum a little bit um but imagine majority of the the uh, Pulse is connected to a stable coin. We've kind of fixed um, uh, Pulse by having this stable coin as a liquidity pool and it'll be a majority of it stuck to it, holding and keeping it stable. So and you know, not even, other and markets not even can just, crash. Yeah, 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 sorry to cut you on there. And I was going to say it's it's not even a stable coin. This is as good a stable coin as we've seen. So, um, you know, even something like Hex that we all love, that's immutable, that's trust us and all these things, the majority of its liquidity is still in USDC. So while we haven't had any problems with USD specifically, this is still moving toward that that true DeFi, that that trustless environment that we really want to go to. So again, assuming that you didn't want to participate in this and that you didn't want to see these gains, or this is you know just not something you're interested in jumping to right away, this is this is still pro, you know turning it into a, a stable coin factory that's that's putting out a, a better quality coin that's that's backed by the ecosystem and the community that um, you know again it's. You know, all these things are it's it's buy pressure. It's offering a better coin in, in a, a better liquidity market for uh, for everyone in the ecosystem and pulse, even if you're not participating in the strategy. So so on that note, last Friday, when we had that big dip, I was on main chat with Mando and uh, uh, Bitcoin was tanking and we went uh, and we were looking at uh, the stable coins and USDC, I believe, hit 93 cents. So we uh, went right over to Liquidity, which this Liquid Loans is a fork of, and uh, Liquidity's stablecoin, LUSD, or, or uh, what yeah, is that? LUSD. L- yeah, LUSD. LUSD yeah. was at a dollar three. Can you beat and that? You could, you could imagine how much total lock value you've got in now sitting at a thousand, a thousand X. Right. Um, the total lock value, which will keep the stable coin state, like it helps to keep it stable because there's so much value locked in. It's crazy. That's rock like, solid. yeah, rock solid. keep going to the right. This is where the numbers get amazing. The buy pressure and your okay. value. 
So it's, value with the loan without the loan, 22 million. The loan we're taking now is half a million bucks, which sounds crazy. Um, <laughs> right? Value without the loan, 50 million. Value with loan, we're now at $55 million from a $21,000 investment in a thousand X's. That that could be a, 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 a six month play, you guys. Literally, the, this could this uh, pulse could see a thousand X's in uh, a six month period of time. Well, I'll give it a little bit longer. We don't know. We don't want to. Uh, it's speculation. No, let's not go right? but, but, but let's just say that, that that is a possibility, right? Uh, where do you want me to go, buddy? At the very the pressure. Purple? Yeah. Pressure. Okay. So we're talking about uh, five hundred million dollars worth of buy pressure with one thousand people doing this. Crazy. I think half a billion dollars give you a pretty good looking green candle. Yeah. And that's at that ten percent, not not a double, the ten percent. Half a billion dollars. Yeah, that's... don't forget the just ten percent ago we did four hundred and fifty million, right? Now on this exactly. 10%, we're doing another five hundred mil. You could wake up and just be, oh, I can, I don't even need a, um, I don't need a, uh, put that buy pressure. I can extract that value if I want and buy Bitcoin if I want or, um, hex and half put half a half a million dollars, half a billion dollars in um in hex, um, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it's, but that's the buy pressure right there. Walrus and then, buy, but Walrus could buy a new motorcycle also. And then the, oh, the yeah. fees, <laughs> yeah. the fees in the for the um, liquid loans loan token staking pool that that's two and a half mil right there just on that on that on that um ten fifty one x. So we've got fees. Um, you can you can stake in that loan pool, have those fees and just um live off that if you like, um or buy more pulse and help your bag grow, right. Um, or buy, buy more pulse, put it into your um, put into your vault, turn that into stable coin, and put it into the st staking pool, right. and help the ecosystem. That's the uh, main, main thing. You want to help the ecosystem for liquid loans, and you want to be able to extract, extract value. That's another thing. Like um, some people might go twenty percent, take ten percent to buy pulse, and ten percent to stake in the st um, staking pool, so that way they can gain that loan token, and over and just keep it put, moving that loan token into the staking pool, into the Correct. loan staking pool. Um, if the if I don't like if the price does go down and you're a little bit worried, you can take that staking or the the the, the stable coin, pay off some of that loan, and then you're back at a thousand percent. But I like to stick to that thousand percent. It's just safe, keep it there. Um, yeah. But there's going to be other strategies on top of this that people will be doing. Let's let's go to the the very end, and let's go to the ten thousand x. Okay. Um, and then uh, it's, it's too then, much. And then, then we'll go uh, to to the uh, the simple little uh, uh, chart we have or, or flow chart we have, and we'll we'll uh, ink some stuff on that very poorly uh, to to get some points across. All right, so there we are at a ten thousand x ten thousand three hundred and fifty four. Right, we're at. Um, a dollar seventy for pulse. This is absolutely uh, unbelievable, right? So let's go back to the beginning. Buy pressure, yeah. All right, so that's our original bag. Value without taking loans is two hundred and seventeen million dollars, which is bonkers. Yep. Uh, That's what happens when you don't sell. The loan that we're taking is six million dollars to buy more pulse. The value with the loan, well, without the loan, is six hundred and twenty-six million dollars, and the total value with the loan is six hundred and eighty-eight million dollars.
688 million. So let power. that sink in a little bit. Uh, that's the power of not selling. That's how the that's how the gold whale never became the gold whale. He bought okay. pulse, uh, he bought Ethereum and never sold it. Yeah, and he's, he's got played. Genesis Block freaking Ethereum sitting in his wallet, right? Um yeah. and, and that enables him to play games like this. Correct. So you could imagine what this would do to the ecosystem for um pulse hex, um, even uh pulse swap is that people will extract a little bit like that 10% right now is um, is $2 million. Sorry, the 2% that you wanted to extract and put anyway is, is $2 million. Now you put that 2 million in Hex, 2 million in Pulse Swap, wherever you like, take it home, take it to the bank, you know, buy yourself a house, um, you know, uh, uh, buy yourself a real estate company and then go buy the houses and make them work for you if you like. That's how much yeah, money you, we're extracting. You can like buy it's, a, it's a city block here, right? Yeah, you, you could shop for high rises. Is, and, Correct, and take the top condo. Um, this is what will happen, right? You have someone who will be like, "Okay, I'm going to use fifty percent of my bag for this, and fifty percent of my bag, I'm just going to leave it there." And what's going to happen is they're slowly, slowly you're going to see that the side that they're using their loan, the loan um, procedure, and keep on taking a loan every time that you can take a loan at a thousand percent, and they're going to watch that bag grow and grow and grow and grow. And this bag stay where it is, and they'll be like. Oh, um, maybe I should use all of my bag. Um, you might say that because if I was doing this personally and I did 50-50, I'd be like, oh, wow. Um, I think I should use my whole bag because I'm actually missing out on this. And that 1,000% collateral was pretty good because the liquidity pools of um, Pulse is going to be pretty nice and strong right now where if people dump, you, you know, you're going to have a, a, a million dollar sale, a hundred million dollar sale, and it won't move half a percent. You know what I mean? Like... Um, and the loan product protocol, the, the loan protocol will be super safe. If you have a bunch of people with a thousand percent collateral with bags this size in that loan protocol, you, you can have a whole bunch of people collateralized at 120 percent, and it won't even move the protocol. It, it'll be pegged 800 percent. Yeah, it'll know. Yeah, it'll never be Teflon at that point. Absolutely yeah. bulletproof. Yeah. yeah, keep going now down to the foot, last two rows, and then uh, we'll skip down to you, to the um, All right. other chart. This is crazy now look at, money. <laughs> six look, billion. Look at, <clears throat> six billion in buy pressure. Six billion in buy pressure. Um, and the loan protocol is 31 mil in fees going to the um ll uh, liquid loan staking pool or the loan staking pool that's that's where um i'm bullish in on liquid loans um and it's because of this um i've, I've people ask me why and i go wait until you see the numbers um and when you see the numbers you understand why i'm i'm personally bullish on um liquid loans and why i want to sacrifice as much as i can so i can gain those fees because those fees that are going to everyone in that staking pool is phenomenal um yeah, so that's that's in the last, you know, if you just highlight the last 10, 10 um, times that everyone's done this, you'll look at, you know, the buy pressure is massive. Like it's, yeah, what, what are we looking at there, Triplet? One more. One more right there. Yeah. That's $40 billion right there. Yeah. That's crazy. It's, yeah. That's the power of um, DeFi. The power of DeFi. Pulse uh, flips uh, flips some coins at that point, right? Yeah. Flips some coins, right? Goes up the list big time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, uh, you, yeah. You actually stop flipping coins at this point. Yeah. You're just on top. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Oh look, just just imagine the what would happen to hex after that. You know, like um, where when when Richard Hart said hex to a hundred dollars or hex to a thousand dollars, well. Um, when people are this, when people have, have this much money and, and they're just extracting another two percent loan, um, they'll be buying hex with it and and staking it if they wanted to. If they didn't want to, they could don't, and they can extract that and spend it if they like. Um, you know, send it to your back and extract it. That's a, that's a good thing about it. It's is that you just got to take that little bit and you, it, it's life changing. Um, you could take five percent extra on your loan, 
And that's more than life changing. That's generational wealth. So um, in chat, you guys, poke holes in this. We, we would love to, to, uh, to, to see some opposition or some, uh, some thought that, that might uh, poke, poke a couple of holes in this process. Um, obviously, w one hole is can, can you get a thousand people to do this, right? With, with this size bag. I, I don't think that's very hard considering the amount of people that are going to be in pulse, right? Um, the only do other we, hole do, I, I can think do is we need a might... thousand people? The, that's another yeah. thing. If we yeah. did, it's just great. And if it, there's more, that's just an added bonus. Like it's, it's, it'll is become there, an unstoppable, unstoppable train. Just keep going. Is there a whale out there um, at the beginning? Or a walrus. Or a walrus at the beginning. <laughs> Or a shark or a dolphin, right? That knows that we're doing this and can exploit this plan in any way against us. I don't think so. No, because when you have a thousand people doing this, you've, you've literally created yourself um, a whale or a couple of whales. Right. Which, um, uh, uh, so if a whale did, say, did, say a whale did sell, right? Say a whale did want to sell a billion dollars worth. But you've got six billion dollars in buy pressure, so he can eat that person up and then just push up the price. Like it's the liquidity pools are going to be thick as well. So, um, but that's at that ten percent, six billion dollars. Like if you if the, the numbers beyond this just, um, and we don't it's think scary. it's going to stop at this. Like it's just the numbers beyond this just go crazy and crazier. Like it's it gets to a trillion dollars uh, buying pressure. Um, yeah. it's just nothing can stop it. Nothing will. Not, it, Nothing, um, you just keep buying and buying and buying. Like, if what, people would happen, want to sell, uh, what would happen to the fees of Pulse for doing transactions, you guys? That's a different story. Um, because Ethereum, look, Ethereum fees, uh, they have multiple, um, uh, it, it takes a lot of a lot of a, a lot of things. It's got to look at how many people are actually out there trying to, um, are connected to the system where Pulse is, is, is connected to a validator node. And it's running off the 33 computers. So it's not using extra power, which pushes up the price, where right. Ethereum does that as well. So there's a lot of, um, there, there's a big difference. So the the, the fees of Pulse might stay well, it's rel relatively low when it does a, a 16,000 X like Pulse, um, sorry, like Ethereum did. I don't, I don't know exactly. I don't know the numbers and how it's going to work, but um, there's, it's different. There, it, it's a different ball game. So you can't say what's going to happen to the fees. Um, it's, it changes because with validators and how they work and the power that they use are so, so much less than the Ethereum miners. Um, the more miners there are out there, the more electricity that's being used, the higher the fees. That's why sometimes you see a dip and the price is low, but the fees are still high is because you've got the validators um, still running their nodes. And I'm uh, not the validators, the miners, um, or what do you call them? What do you call them? Um, what was again? What was the exact word for them? The delegates? The for ETH, for Ethereum. Yeah, Ethereum miners. The, yeah, Ethereum miners. That's a yeah. So the more the more that are switched on, the more the higher the fees are. So that's also calculated. Where in, in Pulse you still you have thirty three, and it's, it's always going to be thirty three. Um, so that helps with the fees. All right. So again, everybody who's watching this, poke some holes in it. Ask us questions. If you'd like this sheet, uh, hit me up on Telegram. You guys know where to find any, uh, all of us, right? We'll, we'll send you this sheet. And uh, do, do your own comparisons uh, and, and see if this math works out. I would love to see what Profex's take on this because that guy is, is a little uh, walking computer. Um, I, I would love to see uh, uh, other people's thoughts on this. Let, let's go to the other chart. You want to? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Right. While, we're, while we're making that swap too, something that's interesting on the fees, um, there's one of those um, kind of models where you're, you're adapting or you're optimizing. So I, I would like to say that like Pulse Chain is, is a big adaptation. You know, we're, we're taking a lot of the, the known things that work very, very well in blockchains and we're, we're putting them together in something that, that should work extremely well. Something else that we should see that should help with fees in the next couple of years is people are getting better and better 
uh, at writing the contracts themselves. Um, you know, the hex contract itself is, is extremely gas efficient. Uh, there's even things those guys would probably do a little different now that would make it more optimized. Um, we're seeing, you know, DEX aggregators um, giving people different options, you know, being able to spread things out across multiple liquidity pools. So we're seeing improvements, not just from sort of the, um, you know, that layer one, but basically how well the contracts are written on top of it to be very efficient with the computing power. Um, so as we have this, this huge added capacity from Pulse Chain uh, and these improvements we see, again, as Hanna was talking about with proof of stake, but we're starting to see um, these, these smart contracts be written in a way that, that, that's better and more gas efficient as well. So I think if we're trying to project how big a difference Pulse Chain can make, not just from it, it's the, impro the improvements itself, but it's just sort of what we're going to see is these, these next level of, of smart contracts is these, these devs who are incredible, keep getting better at Solidity and things like that. We're, I think people are, are underestimating how much capacity uh, Pulse Chain is going to have, how much it's actually going to reduce fees, not just now, but even, even with um, added transaction volume, I, I think people are underestimating how effective it's really going to be. I agree, bud. I agree. This is just a real basic graphic, but we kept it basic so we can add some things on here uh, uh, while we chat. So this is the vault position, right? Uh, you, this is what you're starting with. Uh, we're at a thousand percent collateral. We buy uh, a, a little bit of uh, a ten percent loan, and we add that pulse back to the beginning. And uh, when we do those uh, different lines, we're following this process back and forth. So yeah, uh, so you never take never take the loan once. What if the collateral is under a thousand percent? You don't take a collateral. I just don't don't take a loan. But if it's sitting at a thousand two hundred percent, one hundred percent. Then you just take that loan, buy a small pulse, put it back into your vault, and you're done. So if we add on this, right? Let's see. Oh, I suck at drawing you guys. Oh, for no, you. That's, had Leonardo, that's Leonardo <laughs> da Vinci stuff, man. Those are perfect squares. Right, I'm gonna so, NFT this when you're done. So so if we, we if this is a pulse swap, okay. Uh, and I have, uh, let's just say I have a $10,000 bag in Pulse Swap. And I take those, my daily rewards of whatever that's going to be for the first six months, and I convert those rewards to Pulse. And I add it here. What do you think that does to the chart? And yeah, and your vault. And your your yeah. your bag. It's just that turbo charges it, right? That turbo charge. Yeah. Correct. Now, now if I took um, instead of a 10% loan, I took a 20% loan. Okay. And I took 10%, just like the chart says, and I buy pulse with it, and I do I follow this path, okay? But with 10% of that loan. I buy the stability coin and I stake that on liquid loans. That stability coin is going to reward me in Pulse. And I'm going to put it up here. And it's going to reward me in liquid loans. Loan token, I'm, yeah. I'm going to put that in there and I'm going to stake it. What does the liquid loans court, uh, contract reward me in? It rewards me in stability coin. And that's going back there and it rewards me in pulse and that's going up here Correct. that that turbo charges this that 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 makes this uh a one-stop shop right for anybody out there that loves to farm and wants to uh tickle their dgen side right this is about the safest dgen play I can think of the only thing that uh, will go up and down is liquid loans, right? Pulse is going to go up and down, but we already know that, right? Pulse swap will go up and down, but if you treat that pulse swap bag like a T share, nobody touches their T shares because they're locked up, and Richard Hart makes you keep your T shares in place without significant penalty. You take your pulse swap bag and you put it over here and you don't touch it just like you do a T share. 
and you let that thing crank out, become a money, a money printer, just like people consider T-shares, this becomes your pulse swap money printer, right? And that thing cranks you out pulse that gets thrown in here. So it, the loan token and the pulse swap token, you don't care what value it goes to, whether it goes up, it goes down. It's just that the, the fees or the, the interest or whatever you want to call it um, that you make from there. And you just add that to your vault with the pulse. And I'm um, at an 800%, uh, 800% with this scenario. I'm at 800% liquidity, right? Um, and if I go on vacation and I don't want to bring my ledger and my laptop and all that bullshit with me, I take these stability coins and I pay off my loan before I leave. Correct. And I'm back at the normal... Uh, I'm right back with you guys, right? Right back there with you guys. I might be lower than you guys because I probably will have more uh, stable coins given to me from these liquid loans tokens. Correct. That's going to bank my stability coins. I take this whole bag. I pay off my loan before I leave. Go and on. when you come back? You come back and I start the process again. Stop. That's it. And I could leave knowing that my loan is collateralized to the max and I've got a whole 999 other D-Gen fools doing this exact same thing. Correct. It's badass. Poke holes in Keep it, guys. Best. Yeah. Poke holes on it or, or, or give us positive additions, right? Do you think that, that uh, there's a couple other plays here that we're missing out on, right? Um, oh, there's, yeah, I agree. There, there are plenty of other ways that you can do this or add to this. Or um, there are going to people who, who take out loans when there's a dip only. Um, that's where they're comfortable. And they're the ones that are going to help push up the price when there is a little dip. Um, and then when it goes back to the all-time highs, you've got the thousand people that are doing this that just keep pushing up the price again. So it's liquid loans is such a powerful tool that um, when I first heard, of, heard about it, I was just like, wow. Um, and there's, this is just the beginning. Other people are going to have crazier things and work out so much better than this that it helps the price of pulse. Um, but this is just the beginning. This is just a simple 1,000% collateral um, and uh, I, it's something I believe in that will work. And, and don't forget you guys, we're, we're not just uh, Pulse guys, right? We love Hex. When this starts to slow down, right? When uh, Pulse Swap starts to slow down, we're a firm believer in taking these rewards coming from Pulse Swap, uh, your stablecoin and liquid loans, and sending that over to Hex, right? 100%. Uh, right. We'll be doing that. And... and as soon as uh, the, these 10% uh, gains start coming further and further apart, uh, we start creating a ladder over here, ladder at hex. And uh, it will be phenomenal. It will be phenomenal. If, if, uh, uh, if you have any additions to this, we would love to see it. Love to see it. Yeah, so if, if, say, for example, people were doing the 10% loan, um, 1,000 people, and some, and then all of a sudden at the 10,000 next, people just chose to take a 2% loan extra and bought Hex with it. That 2% is um, $2 billion worth. Billion. Right. What's $2 billion of worth going to do right now to, the, um, to Hex? You it'd know what be, I mean? Like, it would be a monster, right? Yeah, so... Um, and you don't have to do my play either where I'm taking 10% of this. Uh, so if I take a 20% loan, what if I take 8% of that and throw it into the stability coin so I can go on vacations and sleep, sleep well while I'm on vacation because I pay off my loan. But I start taking 2% of that loan and I start buying hex with it from the beginning. That's a, that's an easy thing too. You can do that, you guys. Yeah. Agree. 100%. So that stable coin that you're getting from the loan token staking pool, you can spend that whatever you want and you won't dump on the loan token pool because you're getting it in stable coin. So you can spend it on Hex. You can spend it on um, Ethereum if you want. You can spend it on Pulse. You can go spend it on yourself. Nice jewelry for your wife, um, whatever you want. Um, family, kids, 
even just food or a car. Um, right. He won't do it. It's, it's just that extra cash. It's like those fees. And you see later down the track, those fees get bigger and bigger. So that loan staking pool is going to make you a nice chunk um, if this, if just a thousand people were doing this with Pulse. Like down the track, you'll see some big, big numbers going into that pool. All right. I think we could wrap this up. Any final words, you guys? Any final words, Walrus? Just again to just to kind of bring up like how monumental the, the whole layout is, you know, this is, this, this is one of those things. This is what crypto is about have being able to particip participate in liquidity and be a market maker uh, to delegate a uh, participating consensus to have, you know, collateralization options, like whether or not anyone's in love with any particular ones, just to just understand that this, this is the ecosystem that's being built here. These are, these are trustless, better options. These are better loan protocols than what we've seen. These are better stable coins than what we've seen. This is a better network than what we've seen. This is going to be a better liquidity pool and, and yield farming platform. This is, this is, this is DeFi maturing in a lot of ways. This is a better ecosystem. This is giving people game theory and options and flexibility and just things we really haven't seen in the space. Um, and it just, it just goes to show again, how educated and how, how fortunate we are to have the dev team we do. And, uh, I'm just excited about all the options, man. You know, I just, I love running through the numbers and options. So I'm glad y'all included me on the show tonight, guys. Thank you, buddy. How about you? And, uh, oh, it's a, an immutable stable coin. Um, it's probably one of the best stable coins out there. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to adopt that and take that stable coin and use it in their, in their protocols and use it on the exchange exchanges. Um, it's, uh, I just, I'm just, I, I just love Pulse. I love Liquid Loans. Um, I love the team behind them. They built this, they built this because they didn't want to sell. Um, and that's what I love about them. The core team, uh, I just love them. I, I, I'm, that's why I'm there to support them. I'm there as an admin to help out. I'm there to do whatever I can um, and ask, um, help, help in the chat because what they're doing for us um, is, is beautiful like they're built in, they built something so we don't have to sell um and and that to me is something massive something big i don't have to sell my pulse right um and what more could we want what more could we want yeah my final point would be this uh pulse that's locked up in your vault that you've been taking these loans out on that's a zero percent loan you're not having to service it like you have to do on Ave or Market or any of that. You don't uh, have any upkeep on this. This can sit there forever, and you can walk with the money that we that that you've gained. You can walk with it. Um, that that that's the the best part of this whole thing for me is uh, there, there's a zero percent interest loan and a very very stable coin. That's badass. I'm going to love this. I can't wait till this uh, uh, comes out. Uh, it's going to be badass. All right, you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Y'all hey, stay safe. Thank you, Thank Walrus. You. Thank you, Haunted. It's Triplet Dad signing off from the Magic Carpet Ride. Thanks for watching.